All right, guys, we get, on this episode of Dog Side TV, we're going to be chasing big trophy size speckled trout. We're going to be using the Tiger Bait Matrix Sham, which is a color that we really like in conditions like we have right now and on this episode right here, which is very foggy and very cloudy. This is going to be in your Matrix Bait Box again this month, the Tiger Bait, along with the 17 pound Matrix Lime, as we're going to be burying these lures deep into the, some very sharp pylons that where the fish have a tendency to break off. We're also going to go over the effects of good polarized sunglasses like Charlie, Way, Charlie Ray's wearing right now. That way I could see the pylons that we were fishing and try to avoid some of the snags. We're going to have it attached again to the 3 8 ounce bullseye jig head, which I know you received in the last month's bait box. But if you're gonna fish this area that we fished in this episode, you're gonna need more as we went through a lot of jig heads. So enjoy this episode, catch a big speckled trout. Make sure to subscribe to our Matrix Bait Box and get some of these products that we're using in this episode. And Happy New Year to everybody. Happy New Year, baby. Happy New Year. Very first cast, solid three pounder. And look how he engulfed that matrix shed there. Back of the throat. That's how we like to start. All right, let me tell you what we're up to here today. We got a squall line approaching. Socked in fog, got a little front coming through. And we found some really big trout right up in here yesterday. So we popped out the cameras, came right here at daylight, got a hard falling tide, and it's breaking around these little abandoned pylons. And this is a different class of fish that we've been catching all winter. And that's what happens is you just gotta keep looking around when you're looking for big, big, you know, trophy size trout or, you know, three to five pounders is they're not going to be hung up with the 12 to 18 inches a lot of times that usually got to find a different class of fish and that's uh what we found here let's see if we can get another one him on that matrix on that three-eighths as you can see there I had to horse that fish 
out of the out of the pilots. They're buried up inside of there. So I'm going through a lot of jig heads, brought a lot of golden eyes. But that's that's what you got to do when you're looking for trophy trout. It's very rarely going to be easy. There's always something adverse. And our situation here is we're fighting the fog, fighting the wind, fighting time before a front, and fighting through a lot of jig heads trying to pull them out of these pilots. That's some of the biggest trout we've seen in a while right here. All right, anytime I'm fishing heavy structure like this, I don't know if this camera can see that. I can feel it right here on my line. As I was horsing that fish out of there, that's why we use that 17 pound matrix line uh, when we're fishing this time of year for big trout fishing, whether it's fishing against wooden pilings like this or bridge pilings that we always fish or a lot of, we just fish a lot of structure. So that one was buried in all that junk. So I'm going to cut off the piece that's got some frays in it. You just want to feel for any kind of abrasions. Feels good right there. And I'm going to tie it to a new piece. The last thing I want to do is lose a five or six pounder in these poles. I got to get this lure up in there in order to pull one of these monsters out. Not gonna catch a lot of fish today. Well, I'm gonna just go over some techniques on how to target trophy fish. One of the number one things you wanna do is when you know it's big trout, they're a lot smarter. When you're approaching an area, unless it's like 20 foot deep, when you're approaching where they are, you come in from a long distance on a trolling motor, you come in as quiet as you possibly can. That's why a lot of people wade fish big trout, because you can be so, so quiet. We're fishing about eight, nine foot of water right here. So wade fishing, you better be pretty tall. But that's the good thing about having these trolling motors. I really wish there wasn't a little chop on the water so my boat wasn't slapping the water, but it is what it is. I don't know if you saw that, when I'm hitting these fish, I'm hitting them as hard as I can to try to get them up out them snags. It's super foggy, so it's my hands are soaking wet. And that one, when I set hook on him, the, pole, the rod slipped out my hand because I'm drenched. And then I couldn't, I didn't have enough leverage on that fish, so... He got me in a pole and broke me. Could have been a two pounder, could have been a six pounder. Could have been a redfish. My guess is that was a solid, probably three and a half pound fish. I had him, felt the head shake. Oh, this is, this is a war zone here. Let me dry my hands off as I can before I make this cast. Try to reel seat off. What's frustrating is you're only, you're only gonna get a few opportunities when you're fishing big trout in such a confined area. You gotta make them count.
nice redfish here. What we did was I simply moved over to the trestle and left these pylons alone for a minute just to give them a break. We pulled a few off of there, snagged several times, and just a little, little disturbance when you're fishing big trout. You know, you got to give them a break and then you can simply come back and pick up two or three more. Same thing happened yesterday. Little school of reds moved in here as the tide really started falling hard. So what's really fun though is you stick these three or four pound reds right in the mix of those four pound trout and you don't know what's what. So every bite gets you really excited. funny how those fish started off this morning all trout now we come back after fishing the trestle for a little bit and it's all reds but same thing happened yesterday when I pulled up it was all reds I thought that's all it was here kept throwing and boom boom back to back four four and a half five pound trout we talk about this all the time, how important polarized sunglasses are. Whether you're sight fishing reds or fishing grass flats trying to read the grass. But I've got a little bit of sun here. The fog's lifting and coming back, lifting and coming back. It lifted for a second. I'm going to put my glasses on where I can see into the water and try to pick out some of these snags. That way I don't get snagged quite as often. I don't remember if it was last year or the year before. But Captain Chris and I came out here and fished the exact same situation, foggy conditions, right before front, and with a hard falling tide, and found these big mule trout up buried up in these pylons just like this. So pay attention to our Dockside TV episodes on the time of the year, and then the conditions that's presented in that time of the year. And you can look back on our archives over the last eight to 10 years, and all of the things we do during those specific situations still exist today. now just using my sunglasses to cast in and around the snags I could see exactly where some of them are earlier this morning for well, one when it's the trout I like to get way off so they can't hear me and it was foggy you know the fog's been lifting back and forth as it gets fog it was we're gonna get another wave of fog when it when the fog comes back in I'll just back off again Try to get the trout but as i got a little sun i'm pressing in there a little bit you know the trout are buried in there too but the last couple of fish have been redfish all right we're gonna go from that set of poles to this these up here in front of us what i like to do also down this whole shoreline from here all the way to little woods you can simply get your boat in about six seven eight foot of water and just troll this whole shoreline these big giant trout just roam this whole bank and uh made some good catches in my life just down the shoreline so when I'm moving from spot A to spot B I always like to troll you always keep a lure in the water you never know what you might find and I always stumble across something you're not expecting
that big, he was swimming right at me. Not necessarily the smartest move in the world, but we'll take it. That's a solid. That's a big fish. Not the fattest one in the world, but that dude is long. Get on that tiger bait. I, I like to use that tiger bait whenever you got really overcast or dark conditions. Puts a little brightness in that water. And this is what we're fishing for today. Trophy sized trout. We're just gonna make this a quick, easy episode. We're not gonna catch a lot here. We'll go, I hope you really learned something about targeting these big giant trout in the winter time. And you know, when you're fishing big trout, don't expect a lot of bites. I knew what I was getting myself into today, just a few bites. So make sure to subscribe to our Matrix Bait Box and our YouTube channel, Dockside TV, as we go over everything from big trout like this all the way to crappie. Hope you enjoyed this episode, and until next time, good fishing.